The holidays are officially here, and that means that the shopping has begun. Newsline reporter Taylor Hansen is in Sandy to tell us one way that we can enjoy the magic of this holiday season while out buying gifts. I'm here at the shops in Southtown, where they've created a Harry Potter shopping experience that you won't find anywhere else. And we were the first in the nation. Um, they opened one in Bangkok last year, um, but we're the first one in the U.S. Christmas in the Wizarding World is a retail stop set to look like Hogsmeade Village where you can play games, take pictures, and buy exclusive Harry Potter merchandise like the popular chocolate frogs and apparel from the newest Fantastic Beast movie. They came in, the same um, designer and architect that built um, Universal Studios Harry Potter um, contributed to this and he was very hands-on in that. This is the second holiday season that this unique experience is available after thousands attended last year. We actually just blew up Warner Brothers' expectations of what they thought that this would do, especially in a shopping center. Christmas in the Wizarding World is a fun time for Potterheads, their families, and even those interested in learning more about the beloved stories. Our uh, Megaplex Theater in Sandy was the number one in the country when the first movie came out. It killed all box offices all across the country in sales. So that was one of the reasons they looked at Sandy. They knew that we had a very um, a great audience for that. As the holidays approach, the shops at Southtown hope to share the magic of the holiday season and the magic of Harry Potter with their audiences. You know, some people, they want to come, they want to dine, shop, eat, but also this is a fun thing that they can't find anywhere else but the shops at Southtown. So it's a really great compliment to, I think, that um, Christmas shopping experience that families are looking for. You can visit Christmas in the Wizarding World at the shops at Southtown Mall from now until January 21st. Reporting for Newsline from Sandy, I'm Taylor Hansen.